Oh my God, I swear if another person quits this band, I am just gonna... I'm just gonna keep doing exactly what I've been doing. And that's how shit's just gonna go. So What's going on gang? This is Ian, your very friendly neighborhood Viking, coming back at you with another Motivational Monday video. This week, I'm gonna touch on a subject that does not get talked about enough, at least in my opinion, and it's why do people quit bands? Why are there constant member changes in bands? Why do people quit? Why do people get fired? I'm gonna tell you why I think all that is, and I'm gonna tell you why you can't keep a good band down. What I need you to do real quick before we do any of this stuff is that if you are watching this on YouTube right now, please hit that subscribe button, hit that bell icon, turn those notifications on so you're getting all the notifications for all of the videos that we're putting out every single week. If you are watching this on Facebook Watch, go ahead and hit that like button and make sure that you are subscribed to our page because we put these videos on YouTube and Facebook every single week. We've been trying really, really hard to boost our YouTube numbers so man, anything, any subscribe, anything like that is greatly, greatly appreciated. Now, let's get back to the other stuff. How have you guys been? Did you have an awesome week last week? I hope you did. I hope you're having a fantastic week so far this week. I hope you guys enjoyed last week's video. I put a couple riffs at the beginning of the video and I did it a little bit different. I did a FAQ, which I haven't done in quite a while, but I had an awesome time doing it. Cole did this really cool thing where he was playing a drum solo and eating a peanut butter sandwich and it was just awesome. So if you haven't seen that, uh, follow the link above and uh, watch that. You have a band and you feel like you are switching members constantly. Somebody's always quitting. You always feel like you might have to fire somebody. There's always problems or it feels like you always kind of have to start over. To be honest, we have been one of those bands where we have had multiple member changes. We've had multiple bass players, multiple drummers and stuff like that. And I'm going to tell you right off the bat, it isn't easy. And it does always feel like you have to start over when you have something significant, especially like a drummer or, you know, a bass player. It doesn't matter. Anybody that you have to replace in the band is a significant loss and it is going to set you back like a little bit. But why? Why does it feel like we have to do this? Or why does it feel like, you know, somebody wants to quit now? Or why does it feel like this guy or this lady or whoever in the band is f***ing up and you feel like man, I don't know how much longer this is gonna last or I don't know how much longer I can deal with this. Why does that happen? From my experience, it happens for a few reasons. It happens because either it's a bad match, maybe the person isn't liking the material, maybe they're fed up with being in a band, maybe they don't want to tour, maybe, just maybe, maybe it's you. All of those things are applicable. Now, I have been in this band for quite some time. I started this band quite a while ago, and we've had, like I said, uh, numerous you know, bass players and drummers. Luckily, Cole has been in the band for like the last six years now, I think, which is great. Over the last few months, our previous bass player departed on his own accord, and we acquired a new one. Everything's going fine right now. That Those things happen, they, they just kind of do. It comes down to a handful of reasons of why. And if it's happening a lot, if it just seems like you can't keep anybody in the band, it might not be them, it might just be you. But there's a difference, let's break down the differences. There's a difference between quitting, the difference between getting fired, and there's a difference between a mutual, like a dissolution. Because this is kind of like a marriage, sometimes it kind of works like a divorce. It means one party will leave, the other party will wanna leave, maybe it's just a mutual agreement where this just isn't working out anymore, whatever. Who knows? But you gotta kinda look down the pipe, especially if it's happened multiple times. And that isn't always easy to do because that makes you take a real close look at yourself and go, Jesus Christ, am I? the asshole here? You might be, I don't know, I don't know you. I know me, I know sometimes I am an asshole, or at least I come off as one. I don't personally think that I am. I can see how sometimes people might assume that I am because I generally try to speak very plainly, I try to speak very confidently, and that could possibly come off as me being a dick or something like that. And, and I get it, and I don't ever mean it because I'm really, uh, self-deprecating that's who I am as a person I really try hard to keep like any ego in check I really do from an outsider's perspective I have no idea and if I was ever doing anything like that I would think that the guys wouldn't hesitate to say something to me about it and I would need to get that head check real fast and I'm okay with that but going back to why people you know quit or why people leave your band you know you kind of have to think of your band as a business 
When you hire people, why do they want to be in the band? And when they quit or when you fire them, you have to know why they're leaving. What's their reason for departure? All that does is it makes you operate better as a band and usually as a person. You got to think of this band obviously as a marriage and when people leave, that's like a divorce and it does suck uh, most of the time. Sometimes you just have toxic people within the band and the shit just don't work out. That's happened to us. We have had people who are awesome friends of ours where we still love them and we still hang out with them. We still, we still speak to them and all that stuff is fine. But as a business partner in this band, we treat it like a business. As a business partner, that shit just doesn't work out. People might have different ideas of what they think or how they feel like things are going to go in the band. Some people join a band and they think it's all jerk off time and it ain't. And not if you want to take it seriously and you want to do something with it. It's not. It's not time to sit here and f around. You know what I mean? If you want to take it seriously, then you have to be on top of like all the things I've said before. You know, there's money, there's social media management, all of that stuff that I've mentioned a hundred times before. That's all a serious thing and you all need to put work into it. If you have one person in the band who isn't doing it, and everybody else is busting their ass, that resentment is gonna grow real, real fast. And you are gonna get sick of their shit in a heartbeat. You might have somebody who has uh, a drug or alcohol problem. That's another issue because you can't do that in a functioning band. When you're doing everything on your own, that shit has no room in here. Not these days. You wanna do that shit? Best of luck. I definitely don't want anything like that to happen to people, but that is not gonna fly. Not in this band. Then you get into issues where you kind of just grow apart. Maybe you're doing something wrong and you kind of don't realize you're doing something wrong and somebody within the band has started to resent you for it, which has happened. That one sucks because that's you messing it up unintentionally. It's one thing if you're just like, I don't like this person or whatever, you know, you have a definitive reason and you can have that separation and it can be finalized. But when the person quits because they have a problem with you, that you didn't realize, or maybe you did realize at one point, but didn't realize it was as bad as what it was, that stings deep. At least it does to me, because that has happened before. And it's been kind of my fault. I don't even want to say kind, it's been my fault. It sucks. I mean, that's a real serious, honest look at it. It has been my fault, and I felt shitty about it for a long time. I still do. You have to learn from it, because if you don't learn from it, you don't learn anything. <laughs> it's only gonna work for so long and that's usually not a very very long time There has to be some kind of middle ground between everybody. This is a marriage You are married to these people for the duration of the time that they are gonna be in that band And that's it and you have to make it work especially if you're touring Especially if you're doing this as a business as a full-time thing you got to make it work and, and if you don't the whole band is gonna implode and there's gonna be nothing but resentment on every single side. You can't have that. You're supposed to be a professional. Everybody has to act like one. So the best thing for you to do is to be honest with each other and find a system that works. With finding that system, it takes a handful of really deep and honest conversations. Now within those conversations, it could be anything, but what you should probably be doing is laying out your objectives, having a mission statement, this is what I want within this band. Everybody gets a say in here. Everybody should have that statement and say, here's what I want, here's what I expect, here's what I plan to achieve. And not just within myself as a musician, but what, here's what I want us to achieve. Now, everybody should at least be on par with majority of that conversation. And if not, you need to sit there, look each other in the face and say, what are we gonna do? Because this isn't sustainable long-term. That's what you want though. Because when you have multiple uh, lineup changes, people will lose interest in your band because they go, God, these guys can't keep shit together, can they? Having that longevity is a big deal. Where we are now, since John has quit the band, you know, a, a couple of months back, you know, we have a bass player now who is doing the live shows and, you know, some other things here and there, but he's not 100% committed within the entire realm of the band. We didn't even ask him to do that because he's already in another band and that's a lot for one person to take on right away. Now, if something ever changes and he wants more, then we'll have that conversation and that's fine. But that's whenever that comes about. Right now, it's me and Cole and we are spearheading this entire operation. To bring somebody else in, we had to have that conversation. Like, look man, we really need somebody to do the live stuff 
you don't have to have any like financial commitments or anything else really all of the business stuff it's all on us you just come and just be able to do the live shows and then I think we're good and he agreed and that's great and like I said if if it changes beyond that awesome we'll have that conversation we'll figure something out and if not whatever if it stays like this we can make that work too finding a correct system that works for you and your band and being honest about it and somebody in the band says look I'll come in and I'll play the parts or maybe I'll write these parts or something like that but I don't want anything to do with the business part that's fine you know if the other part of the band is willing to take on that responsibility that's okay also they get a bigger piece of pie when it all comes down because if you're not doing shit you're gonna get paid for not doing shit you understand like if they're gonna do the extra work they're gonna make extra money and I that's fair you aren't gonna think that it's fair when it comes down to splitting up money especially if a big piece of money comes in you're not gonna think it's fair it's fair as hell having that honest conversation if you can come up with a system even if it just seems weird like that if it works if everybody's okay with it then use it and if something comes up if it becomes a real problem then sit back down again with everybody and say hey i tried this i don't like it we need to figure something else out it's okay people have this weird idea that you can't be honest or like you know people can't speak up when there's a problem and you should speak up because Communication is the most important thing. It is the absolutely the most important thing. And if you don't have that, your band is gonna sink. It's just gonna sink. And this is band, business, anything. If you don't have that good, clear, clean communication, that shit is going to fall apart fast. Regardless of if it makes people upset or if it seems shitty or if it seems anything like that, have those communications. Make sure that you're talking to people when you need to, not after you've already built up all the resentment and you've already been pissed off about it for a month or two months or however long. Don't have that then, because then you're gonna blow up and you're gonna say a bunch of shit that you don't mean. Deal with the problems as they come about and don't let them just sit. Just take them head on and deal with them. I am not trying to point all this blame on somebody else because this is not a particular person in that band's fault. Everybody in that band has the potential to grow at all times. You need to hold up your end. Or it's usually not just one person's fault. Even if it is one person's fault, everybody within the band always has room to grow and be a better representative in that band. A better member, a better friend, a better business partner. You all have that room. So you need to hold up your end of the bargain. If your end of the bargain is to post on Facebook a handful of times a week and play the drums, do it. And if you're not doing it, one person in that band should say, why isn't this getting done? Uh? And if you say, I don't know, I'm gonna tell you, I don't know is not a answer. That doesn't work. I don't know isn't an answer. Not at all. There's, there's usually only a couple reasons that stuff doesn't get done. Either you didn't know or you just didn't do it. That's about it. That's at least, that's how I think of it. You didn't know that you were supposed to do it or you just didn't feel like doing it. If you didn't know you were supposed to do it, I can get by with that. But that's what I mean by holding up your end. These guys expect me to, you know, to handle all the social media stuff because that's what I do. And you know what? I do all of that. I hold up my end as much as I possibly can. And if I do something wrong, they don't usually hesitate to say, hey, what's up? That's exactly how it should be because that's what it takes. And have I always been right? Absolutely not. There has been plenty of times where I've been wrong. There's Plenty of times where I drop the ball, I let that sit in my chest like a weight because it needs to bother me. If it doesn't bother me, I won't think about it. I won't act on it. It won't affect me. So I need that to bother me. And uh, and I'm glad it does. And I'm glad I kind of deal with stuff like that. And you might not think it's a great idea, but that's how I do it. Have those conversations, have those honest conversations with your bandmates about what you want, where you want to go, how you want to be in one year, two years, five years, 10 years, who knows? Be goal-oriented and be honest with the other people that are in the band, even if you're the one who sucks. Keep your lines of communication clear. Always be goal-oriented. Make sure that you're all on the same page because we're all in this together. So I hope all of you guys took this into consideration. I hope all of you guys sit down and have that band conversation and tell each other, look man, here's what I want, here's what my problems are, and it doesn't always have to be shitty. Just make sure you're just honest and clear about the situation and what you want. And if anybody that actually cares in that band, they will do what they can to make it work. Go out there, be a better functioning band, be honest with each other, set your goals, and achieve as many as you possibly can with the time you have on this big blue bitch called 
earth. Guys, I want to say thank you very much for sticking around. I hope you guys have a fantastic money. I hope you have an even better rest of the week. And I'll see you next time. Later.